Hi, I'm Jim McLean. Almost every golfer wants to hit the ball further. Well, the number one key to power and distance is speed. It's that simple. And with the swing speed, radar, and tempo timer, you'll be able to add distance and consistency to every club in your bag. Easily took five strokes off my game. I've shaved about four to five strokes off my game. I've dropped my scores by four strokes. Order your swing speed, radar, and tempo timer now. And you'll also get this bonus DVD featuring speed and tempo tips with Jim McLean. Get your swing speed, radar, and tempo timer today. I'm currently working with a great young junior golfer. She just turned 14 years old. Her name is Alexis Thompson. Her brother is Nick Thompson. He plays on the PGA Tour. Alexis has already played in two U.S. Opens, the youngest player ever to qualify. She recently played very well in the Kraft Nabisco, a major ladies uh, LPGA event. She finished 21st. She beat Lorena Ochoa in three out of the four rounds. She won the U.S. Junior last year. So it's been great to work with Alexis Thompson. I've watched Alexis Thompson since age eight when she started working at my golf school at the Weston Hills Country Club in Weston, Florida. That's where I live. And that's still where I work with Alexis. And I'd like to pull up one of her swings. I'm gonna go with a, a short swing here. This is out on the golf course. We'll go out on the golf course up periodically to watch her hit balls out there. Uh, I've tried to keep a lot of naturalness in her golf swing, not trying to create some perfect model swing. So I'll show you uh, Alexis here with her, her setup. This is hitting about a five iron. Uh, and this is a little while back. Now I'm gonna slow some things down and, and show you what happens in this, in this girl's swing. And we'll look at a couple others here as well. One of the things you'll notice, and this is a little early on, Alexis had a very strong grip. When I started working with her, she had a super strong grip, both hands. Now, a lot of youngsters will, will play with a strong grip, grip because it's strong. You can hit the ball a little further. Now, the problem I had was she was beating everybody, all the juniors. She played in the U.S. Open, qualified for the U.S. Open with that grip. So, it was a tough decision for me to take Alexis and actually ask her to move her grip significantly over. And she's a pretty stubborn girl too, which, uh, which I think is a good thing. But what I did is I gave her a book on Mickey Wright, probably the greatest lady golf swinger, one of the great ball strikers uh, uh, ever in the LPGA. And I showed her that book and I said, this is the grip of the greatest player that ever lived. If you look at the grips of Lorena Ochoa or Annika Sorenstam, uh, the girls that you'd like to be with, they all have pretty good grips. All grips are a little bit different, but I felt that really needed to ease up on her grip uh, as she got a little bit older and stronger. So you see this grip right here with, with Alexis. Now, a couple things to look at uh, with her swing. I'll draw a couple lines on her legs so we can see leg movement and I'll draw a little square on her head. Now, I've been doing this video work since 1979, doing video on almost every lesson I give, and I've learned to look for certain things. One great thing that she does is inside muscles of her legs. She's got her hands just off the inside part of her left thigh right there. Now as we watch Alexis take the golf club away, you're going to see a great extension with those arms, a really wonderful turn. And look at this change of direction here. One thing that this young lady has is power. And she can just smoke it uh, through to that finish. Now, we'll go back and pull up a, a swing from more recent. And uh, this is hitting a driver. Alexis will hit this driver between about 250 and 270 right now. Uh, she recently, we were out at uh, Weston going on a pretty strong downwind hole, but we measured it at 326. So uh, at 14, pr pretty impressive. Now again, you see that good start, uh, and I'm going to show you this nice extension away from the golf 
ball. Great extension, beautiful arms right there. Everything going away, just great. So I'll put a line on the club right there, and we'll see where that, where that is on the way down. Another thing you might take a look at with Alexis is her head position going back. So she keeps, she keeps pretty quiet, but you can see a little bit of move right there, which is, is very natural. And look at this turn. I've really encouraged her to uh, get a full backswing. And again, looking at the greatest players of all time, I, I want her to, to uh, ha have length in her backswing and to be able to smoke this golf ball when, as she continues to, to uh, improve. Great change of direction with that lower body. Just beautiful. When we come into this halfway down position, we look at that square club face. Notice how she comes up on her off her heel. Again, amazingly, even on the men's PGA Tour, quite a few top players do this. And there have been some great, great players that have done it. Bobby Jones, Davis Love, uh, Laura Davies. So, that's not something I'm, I'm too worried about right, right now. And look at this extension through the golf shot and up to this finish, nice and balanced. Uh, so it's a young swing, it's a power golf swing. Uh, we can learn a lot of things from Alexis golf swing. Here's a really nice picture of Alexis looking down the target line, hitting a three wood. And look at this wonderful structure, the easy posture just a slight break in the knees. A lot of people have too much knee flex. She has a comfortable distance between her hands and her body. I'll take this up one time, kind of slow for you, just to, to let you look at it. She's kept the club right in front of her. Beautiful right there. The club goes up nice on balance. See the club a little closed at the top, which we're fine with. Very powerful position. She comes down in a tremendous downswing position. Look how the shaft and her right forearm line up. That's something that's really important. She's pushing off the ground here hard. Again, a little reminiscent of a, a young Tiger Woods. That club coming down just from the inside. She hit a nice draw on this shot. And I'll play that for you a couple times so you can just watch it in, uh, in kind of full speed. So it's a young swing. It's a power golf swing. Uh, we can learn a lot of things from Alexis' golf swing. So I want to show you some of the things that I see that she does so well. All right, number one, when you have a young player, it's okay to have a stronger grip. So the kids, we want them to get it two to three knuckle grip on the left hand. And that's going to put the club face in a much stronger position at the top of the backswing. Now when you have that club in a strong position, it looks like this, more toward the sky. And the, the wrist could be flat or even slightly bowed. So that's in a really strong position. Now the advantage of that strong position is you're already put yourself in position to be perfect at impact. If you're cupped, you have to do something to get that wrist back to a bowed or flat impact position right there. Well, Alexis already has it at the top. Now, the thing about a, a closed club face at the top, you would think, would be to cause hooks. And sometimes that has been a little bit of a problem with, with Alexis Thompson. But I've also looked through the history of golf at the players that do have the club closed and have the bowed wrist, like, like Litsky or Trevino, Paul Azinger, they fade the ball. Uh, so it's a power uh, swing that you can hold off as you go through and get tremendous trajectory and, and uh, launch angle without having to do a lot of work with your hands. A young Tiger Woods, by the way, played the same way, with a closed club face at the top and a strong grip. And then he's modified it back as he's gotten older. But again, probably the, you know, one of the greatest junior records, 
uh, probably the greatest junior record that, uh, in the history of, of golf. So that grip, where you've got a little stronger grip with both hands, will tend to put the club face more closed and closed up at the top. Now, when you have that kind of uh, position at the top, you learn to drive a little harder to keep that club back as you start down because any kind of throwing action will produce a hook. So it encourages lag in your golf swing. And that is something that you want to remember when you're looking at a, a young player or if you're a person that tends to throw the club from the top. You can learn something from Alexis Thompson right there. The stronger position at the top encourages this lower body move. The weak position at the top, the open club face, encourages throw and staying back on your right side. So from Alexis, you can learn power. She's so much longer than the players of her age. When I watched her, I went out with her to the Kraft Nabisco, watched her play with top lady tour players, and she was hitting it past all of them already. So that piece of the game, when you talk about tour golf, you have to realize that distance right now in, in the, on the PGA Tour and the LPGA Tour is huge if you want to be great. Look at the top players on both tours. We'll look at the ladies tour, Annika Sorenstam and Lorena Ochoa, both really long. So maybe you'll pick up something from Alexis Thompson.